And that's about all I have, so thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, so, for just really quick to catch up, for those of you who don't know what Nova is, I'm not going to really introduce it because Taylor's talk is up next, and I'll leave the honor to him if he will do it. Uh, it's an admin dashboard that you can use to like, quickly create scaffolding for your existing database resources, but you can also extend it in various amounts of ways, which I'm going to show you. So if you want to install Nova, you need to buy a license. And currently, you need to download it as, as a zip file, which is a bit unfortunate. I hope this changes over time so that we can use Composer for updates as well. And you put it inside of your Composer JSON. So you download the zip file, extract it to your path, add it to your Composer JSON file, and then have a couple of artisan commands to install everything, run the migrations. And once you're done with that, you can log in to into Nova. And it looks something like this. So we have this dashboard. We have resources, like the users that are uh, in the system. By default, we can create new users, list them, et cetera, et cetera. So, for me, as someone who creates a lot of open source packages for Laravel, I immediately was excited about Nova because what I think what it allows us as a Laravel community and Laravel community members to do is we can create packages, which we were able to do before, but with UI components that look good for everyone. So if we wanted to create a package that has views and CSS and maybe some JavaScript and someone else wanted to use it, they somehow had to make it fit into their existing application. So if I want to use Tailwind and someone else already uses Bootstrap, they have this overhead and have to try to combine the, the things with my package. So I think this is really great for the whole ecosystem that Nova will bring up in the next years, basically. So as I said, I want to talk about the ways that you can customize Nova to fit your own needs. So the first thing I want to show you is custom actions. And an action is basically when you have a list of resources, you can click on one or multiple resources. And with this resource, you can perform an action. So to create your own action, let me switch to PHP Storm a bright white theme. Uh, we can do PHP Artisan Nova Action, and then give it a name. So for example, CSV Export. So action created successfully. And now we have a new class in the app Nova Actions namespace, which is called CSV Export. And out of the box, it just has a handle method and we can do the action that we want to perform in there. So first, I have this in a note. So what I want to do is perform a CSV export of the models that we click on. So I'm using uh, just the existing package, the leak CSV writer. Um, and I'll just I'd put the model that was selected as an array and write it into a CSV file. Really just basic stuff. And at the end, what we're doing here with this action download is when this action was run successfully, we're going to download this file to the user. Now, if we go into the browser and refresh, it's still the same because we have not yet associated this action with this resource with the user. So we can do that by going into our user resource. And in here, we have actions. So let's spin up a new instance of our CSV export. Uh, I think I imported it already. Yep. So if we refresh. We can now select it, and here we see this action. So we can choose CSV export, press the button, 
run the action, and we get a CSV file downloaded. Now, what's cool about these actions is that we can also customize them and make them more fit to, uh, to custom actions. So let's say we want to specify the file name of the download. So the user, when he selects he wants to export something, we want to show them a text field for the file name. And for this, we can just define the fields for this specific action down in this fields array. So let's just say text make file name and import the class. All right, so refresh, select the user again, CSV export, run it, and now we get a prompt with the file name. So in order to access it, we can now modify our handle method. And instead of having this static export file name, it becomes fields file name. So let's give it a try. My CSV run action. And then we see that we get it downloaded as this file name. And so the cool thing about this is that you are not limited to text fields, but you can create basically every field that you can also use inside these resources in Nova with these custom actions. So you can have select fields, color pickers, whatever, relational fields, whatever you want. So this is basically the first kind of customization that we have with Nova. Oh, and just a short note, if I'm running like out of time, just let me know, OK? Uh, the second thing is we can have custom fields. So a field is when we either create or edit a resource. Well, it's this. So we have text fields, we have maybe password fields, drop downs, stuff like that and we can create our own field. So the way it works is also by using an artisan command, so php artisan nova fields. Am I the button beeping? Or it, do I just hear it? <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, and then, I don't know, my custom fields. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like a vendor slash package name, so we can use beyond code slash my custom field. And we don't want to run npm, don't want to compile the assets, don't want to run composer. So what we end up with is we have this Nova components directory where these custom fields and custom tools and resource tools end up in. and a custom field is basically just a collection of PHP classes and Vue components that we can then use inside of Nova. So we have three Vue components for a custom field. One is for defining how this field looks like in a form. So this would be for the form. Then we have a custom Vue component for how it looks like on the listing in this table. And we have a custom Vue component for like the detail page. And just to show you a quick example of what you can do with it and how you define these, um, I built a simple component, which is a text string, and it just shows you how many characters you have still left. So you can say something like, let's go into the user resource. Here we have our fields defined. So we have the name, the email, and the password. And I have this string limit class. So we're going to say string limit, make short bio max 250 characters. And if I now edit the user, this is the custom field that I created. So it's just a text field, and it just calculates how many characters are remaining. And 
when you think about how you can customize this further, it's not limited to text fields. You can do like drag and drop file uploads, uh, canvas fields if you want to draw something there. Um, so it's basically whatever your application needs for a form, you can add this into a custom field. Next up would be custom resource tools. So a resource tool is uh, it's basically like a panel that is shown on a user detail view. You can create it in the same way. So it would be PHP Artisan Nova resource tool, then beyond code, a custom resource tool. Skip all this NPM stuff because it takes time. And then we have a new folder in here that also has a Vue component that we can use. It comes with a custom PHP class and a service provider. So you can also add routes to your custom, um, custom resource tools so that you can create basically whatever you want and how complex you want it to be. Also, to show you a demo what a resource tool in real world would look like, uh, there is an API called Full Contact. Don't know if you've heard about it. What you can do is you give it an email address, and then it will look up all the social profiles that are associated with, it, with this email address. It's kind of scary. Um, so to add this, once again, you define it inside of this resource. And pretty much like a field, you add it. So this was called new full contact, I guess. Let me see. Yeah. And then this is now I'm making an API call, API call in the background. So the Vue component gets loaded, makes an API call. I call a external API. Uh, to show all this information. You're, wel you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your photo. Uh, so with this, you can build, well, custom, custom tools that perform various different actions inside the detail view of your resources. And the last thing I want to show you about how you can customize Nova is custom tools. So it's pretty similar to these resource tools, with the only difference that they are not scoped to one specific resource, but that they live in your sidebar. So it's the same way on how you create it. PHP Artisan Nova tool, beyond code a custom tool. Skip all this boring stuff. And once again, we have a new directory that contains a Vue component that will be loaded once we click on it on our sidebar. We have a view file for our sidebar navigation template where this menu will be loaded. And we have a custom service provider where we can add additional routes to it, register things with the IOC container of Laravel. So everything that this custom tool needs, we can do it in here. And like a live example of this, of something more real, would be where is it? Uh, whoop. So I'm working on something which is called the Nova installer. We can pretty much like with WordPress, you have a listing of all the existing tools and cards and packages that are out there. You can search for existing packages and then just install them.
There it is. So this is now a custom tool that we built. It allows remote code execution. Don't use it in production. Um, but you can do things like app user all and get a listing of all the users. So it's pretty much like the CLI tinker tool for Nova. And yeah, that's a custom tool. I'm working on this package installer. It's not quite ready yet, uh, but it's fun to build. And this is pretty much how the different ways of how you can customize a Nova application. So we have these tools, resource tools, custom actions, and custom fields. And yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Mm -hmm. Do you know if it's possible to um, customize the, the looking of Nova and um, to adapt it to um, business? Um, well, yeah, well, basically, basically in the background, uh, what you have is a layout file. So here is Nova. And it's not published by default, but if you go and take a look, Nova resources views then, well, you can just publish your custom layout view file and then load your own CSS if you want and okay. change it the way you want. And the custom component and resource will uh, work with uh, our custom layout? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. So the question was how you can reuse or reuse custom components from within Nova. And um, when you build these custom tools or resource tools, you can basically choose from a lot of the existing components that are built into Nova. So if you take a look at the components directory, there is a lot that you can choose from. Uh, there are models built in, so you can reuse the existing UI parts of Nova. Um, this is not yet documented, so um, Christoph already suggested that we have something like a style guide. This would be great for Nova, but it's not there yet. But if you just look at the code, you will find the existing Vue components, and you can just reuse them. Yeah, so um, when you have a lot of tools, then you end up with a lot of these custom Nova component directories, and everyone has its own custom Webpack mix file. I saw that there is one uh, Nova tool that you can use, uh, which basically loops throughout them and compiles everything. Uh, but I think it does not work if one of your tools has a custom Webpack configuration. Yeah. Um, oh, and if you want to publish these tools, be sure to add the dist folder or remove it out of your gitignore file. Because when someone downloads the package that you create from uh, GitHub or using Composer, then they need the compiled assets, and they are not included in Git by default. And yep. Just one last thing, if you want to check out existing Nova packages, go to novapackages.com. They contain already quite a ton of packages. It's crazy how fast people spin up new things for Nova. OK, then. Thank you. I think it's your turn. Thanks. <laughs>